There's a strange new new species. Well, this could be true, or it could be just another you um, hoax. I'm not too sure. Fish with human teeth caught in North Carolina. Meet the sheephead fish, common Atlantic coast swimmer with a very crunchy diet. It was happened last week, August 3rd. Anglers at Jeanette's Pier, North Carolina, pulled up something unexpected and uncanny from Atlantic, a fish with human teeth. Yes, the fish and its teeth are real. Unfortunately, there's nothing human about it. So they called a sheep heads fish. Ah, arch, oh, Cyrus, pro, bat, o tro, set. Pallias, also known as the convict fitch, with dark stripes running down its grey body, represent of a stereotype prison jumpsuit, according to the Maryland Department of Natural Resources. The fish is commonly found swimming around the Atlantic Ocean from New York to Brazil and gave Sheepshead Bay Brooklyn its name. It can grow up to three feet to 91 centimetres long, and I know oysters, clams, screen questions. Odd bit of plant matter, hence the teeth. Like humans, a dumb sheep head fish, a device curve on its diet. And like humans, it has a set of dull, stubby choppers. Go, f- go through meals. A fully grown sheep head fish would typically sport three rows of molars on its upper jaw and two rows in its lower jaw. All the better than crunch. For the shells it prey, according to Scientific America, American, but it's a fish inside from teeth that look the most inhumanoid. They even could do an animal, Scientific America reported. All these teeth are developed gradually over the fish life. As the animal grows and graduates from a diet preliminary soft-bodied animals to selfish, heavy menu later in life. In the photos shared on Facebook by Jeanette Pierre, who can see two new rows of molars developing in the back of the fish's lower jaw. The set of choppers like that, who d- what does a sea fish fish pose any threat to humans, according to David Cratter, the collections manager of Rick Follery at the California, California Academy for Scientists? And the answer is probably not. I would not hesitate to swim in the waters inhabited by these fish. Can I told this snoops.com where the comes from? Good mention here. Plug, plug, plug. They pose no threat to humans unless harassed. Since they are good to eat, sheepheads are targeted by anglers. They are having one of their captured creeks of longing, possibly being bitten as poked by a sharp dolphin fin spin, fin spines. So Atlantic swimmers never need worry explaining human shaped marks on their butts, at least not where the sheep heads fish is concerned. Oh, let's look at this. Naked shark was born without teeth of shark world's first. At time, sorry about that. Not to hear the that's why this is going away to my house in the beginning. Hello, people. Nearly over, nearly over, nearly over. Not very exciting, is it? Not allowed to do advertising on Facebook unless I pay for it. I'm sorry, I've not got the money. Naked catfish born without skin. What? Wow. Fishes in Sedona, Italy, fancy called a black mouth cat shark, Gullius metodius. His first sheep, but only case of a shark living with black, severe lack of skin. Related structure, including teeth. Mm, weird fish. 
five centimetres. Perhaps it's strange to the abnormal shark I'm seen living perfectly normal life until it's scooped from the sea. A chimney's monocony is a common small cat sharks can grow to a maximum size of 2.3 feet. True to name, the tear of the back mouth is more jet black, the skin like its sheath that covers its organs. The, the catfish shark, the young female measuring one foot long, some which show normal growth for its age. Shark is also missing in small, decorous, thin, tiny fang like structures align the skin of all sharks and rays. Its absence of detrimental deprecations as a naked cat shark is likely a weaker swimmer than its peers. Shark's gut, the researchers found 14 items, food items. In a buffet of tiny superposed crustaceans and bony fishes. Shark abandoned by normal parents is almost certainly a result of genetic mutation. Searches will return to the site where the naked catfish has caught and sampled the sediment on the seafloor.